So let's learn one of the most commonly used functions, which is the VLOOKUP function. And we'll also learn the HLOOKUP function as well. So now we have a new worksheet in our workbook called sales. And in here we have the sales information for our bookstore. We have the following columns, order date, the order, the date when the order was placed for the books and the name of the customer who placed the order, the product ID, which tells us what product was ordered, where was it ordered will be available in the order location column, whether it was ordered at our store or on the website. We also have the number of units or the quantity of books that were specifically purchased on that day by that customer for that product ID. So now we only have product ID information here. We don't know the book name or we don't know the author name and other information. So one way to bring all that information into the spreadsheet will be to use the VLOOKUP function. This is very, very common in real life where you have an ID or a number and you have to use that information to go and find all the relevant information that is stored in another table or another worksheet or another workbook itself. So let's, let's take a look at how we can bring in more information about the product ID here. So let's say for this specific row, for this product ID, we want to know the name of the book first. So we'll do V lookup open. So this function needs a lookup value, which is what are we looking for? In this case, we want to know what does product ID 11 mean? So the lookup value would be 11. And where are we going to search for this product information? We're going to search it in the product sheet where we are going to select all the way until H column, which is all the set here and type comma and go back to the sales spreadsheet now. And so far what we have is we have, we are searching for 11 in the products table products worksheet in this set of information here and we next have to give we have to give the column index number we need to tell excel what information we need to bring back in this case we need to bring back the book name so let's go back here and see the book name is the second column in this array that we selected so we need to provide the column index to comma. And the last argument in the VLOOKUP formula is, VLOOKUP function is whether we want an exact match or an approximate match. So in this case, we are searching for a product ID 11. So we want an exact match. And so we will type in false and close parenthesis, hit enter. So what we have done here is we have actually brought in the book name that is associated with this product ID. So let's type in book name and we have pulled it in. So once again, let's do it again. We look up what are we searching for and we typed in 11. So we can also use a cell reference. So let me just select this cell. So we are looking for the value in the cell, which is 11. Here, this is where we are looking. A2 to H16, which is this set of data. And we, we told them, we told Excel that I want to bring back the second column from that array. So the second column from this array is the book name column and I want an exact match of my product ID so I entered false and so I enter I get the book name for product ID 11 discovery of India so Excel was able to bring it in properly
Now, I, I, I can easily copy the cell over to all these cells so that I can get the book name for every line here. But before we do that, one thing you have to make sure is that this array that you are searching in, which is this set of data, you don't want this to change for every book because this is where you have to search. Every line you have to search in that specific data set. So we need to convert this cell reference to a locked cell reference or absolute cell reference. So I'm going to apply the dollar symbols to them. And now when I copy over, what happens is Excel is incrementing the cell reference here from C2 to C3, which is good because every time we go one row down, we want to see a new lines product ID and then go and search in our product sheet. So this works great. And the this array, since we locked it, will remain exactly the same. And the column number two will not change, will remain exactly the same. And false argument also does not change. So now we can actually double click this to go all the way to the end of our data set here. So with very quick, simple steps, we have been able to pull in the book names associated with these product IDs into our worksheet. And similarly, we can pull in, for example, the author names. And you can see here that the author names are in the third column of this so we can actually go here, copy, select them, copy this information, hit escape, go to the cell G2, click in the formula bar, paste it. And what it's doing here is looking at this product ID, going and looking at the product sheet again, but instead of bringing in the second column, which is the book name, bring in the third column, which is the list of authors. So now you don't have to make any other changes, hit enter. Now you get all the author names. Again, double click, pretty quick. So this becomes so easy for you to pull in all this information. So I'm gonna pull in book type and other information very quickly. Now I have created the necessary formulas for the, to bring in the other information about the specific product ID, such as the book type, published year, purchase price, margin, and the selling price. The margin, of course, you know, it has come through as a percentage, so I can convert this into a percentage number format to display the percentage here. Similarly, I converted these into the currency format. So before we move forward, one thing you have to pay attention to in the VLOOKUP formula is that you are looking up a value in a table array or a group of cells, but what you're looking up should always be in the first column in your array. So for example, we are looking at product ID and we wanted to match product ID. And when we went back and tried to search for product ID here, you have to remember that we had product ID in the first column in this data set. If product ID was in here, let's say in the fourth column after the book name, then the VLOOKUP cannot look up prior to the column where it needs to match by. So in this case, product ID was what we were looking for and product ID needs to be in the first column of the table or the array that we are searching in. So that is a requirement for the VLOOKUP formula. There is a similar formula called HLOOKUP. And for that, let's go back to the employee worksheet here. And let's say we, I'm gonna type in December 25th, 2013. And I want to know on December 25th, 2013, or let's choose December 27th, December 27th, 2013, 
I want to know how many hours Arjun worked. And this I can use HLOOKUP formula and type in HLOOKUP. And the lookup value here is I want to look up 27th December. And the array here is we can select, for example, all of these cells. And from the 1st Jan to all the way through to December 31st and comma and row index. So we gave column index in the VLOOKUP function and here in the HLOOKUP, we need to give the row index. So what we are trying to do is, Excel is going to try and find this 27th December in the first row and then it needs to, it is asking us to say which, call, which row am I going to match this on? So if we need Arjun, Arjun is going to be in one, two, three, four, fifth row. So you would type in five, comma, I want an exact match of the date, hit enter. So Arjun worked for six hours on 27th December. So let's say I change this to 28th December. And now Excel says Arjun worked only for two hours. That is right. So once again, let's take a look at it. HLOOKUP, we're looking up the value in NF4, which is 28th December 2013. And we are looking at in the, in the table array, which is from 37, 31st December all the way to 1st January. So all the cells here is our table array. And we are saying, I want to know the row index five, which is Arjun. So we are interested in Arjun's row and 27th December is the date. So wherever 27th December is, that column, Excel will be able to find it. And then it'll give us the value in that intersection. So here five is the row number and Excel is looking at 28th December, so it was able to find this column, and it says two is the value in that cell, so we get two. So this is how HLOOKUP functions. So again, the, both the lookup functions are very, very convenient and useful to find a specific cell in a matrix, because it needs to go and find the column and the row matching, both the lookup functions, HLOOKUP and VLOOKUP functions can do that. Just like the VLOOKUP function needs the first column in your table array to be where you have to go to, you're going to match. Similarly here, we want to match on dates. So the first row here should have the dates that you're trying to match in. So that's why we chose B1 to NB9 and the first row has the dates we needed.